are you looking for one place to store all of your digital pictures? There's a lot of options out there, but you want to really like what you're using. That was Mylio. It's a photo management software that offers a pretty attractive interface to work with your pictures. We're going to review that program in this video. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt, a photo estate planner at Pixology. We're your go-to experts in motivation and education on photo saving, software tips, tools, and so much more. If it has to do with saving a memory, we're here to help you. This video is the second, I think, in a series of videos I'm doing on reviewing photo management software. If you missed the overview, click the link up above. I gave a list of like 20 different other softwares that could potentially help you with managing your pictures. So for today, we are going to look at Mylio. If you want to hear about the other options as I review them over the next coming months, definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss a video. All right, before we dive into the review, I always want to put my pitch in for two very important things you need to know about working with your digital photos. First of all, you do need one digital home for everything to bring all of your digital pictures to one place, and that is in a photo management software. The second thing that you need to know is you need to work with your program routinely. I say at least monthly, if not weekly, depending on how many features your program has. When you work with your program on a routine basis, you'll remember the tips and tricks that make it easy to use it and even fun to sort your memories. With Mylio, consistent use will benefit you. There are a lot of features and you'll never remember it if you just use it now and then. All right, let's just give you a quick bit of background on Mylio. Mylio stands for My Life Organized. It was founded back in 2012 or 2013 by a man named David Vaskovich, and he worked at Microsoft directly reporting to Bill Gates. There's also software engineers at Mylio who came from Apple. So these people know software development and they know photo programs. Let's do a quick overview of Mylio. All right, I've opened Mylio and we are in the all photos view. You can see across the top above the pictures, there's different views on how you can look at your pictures. So let's check that out. We're in the all photos. Let's go to the calendar view. Here, Mylio has automatically organized my photos by decades, years, and even months if I were to click into these. This is amazing. You don't have to do a thing and Mylio will produce this calendar view for you that will be lovely to enjoy your photos with. Next up is the map view. Not real helpful unless tracking the where you've taken your pictures is important to you. The next tab is people and here you can see I've got the main members of my family already identified. All right, the next tab is albums. And albums are places where you can store photos that might be useful for a project, like I've got the cottage book here or maybe a graduation. You can have pictures in many albums. It's really, you know, a, a, a construct in the program. The next tab is folders want to spend a lot of time in the folders tab because this is how your pictures are organized in Mylio. So right now you can see I'm in the 2007 photos folder. I'm going to hit this back button and now you can see I've got a few other folders in here and the folders you can actually put nested folders in them and build a structure for your pictures. That's pretty easy. Then there's the dashboard, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's go back to all photos. 
and I'm gonna just click on this one right here okay when you want information or you want to do something with your picture the right panel has a, a few tabs as well you have the info tab which tells you all the metadata about your picture and then you have the map view i really don't go there and then you have the edit view where you have many options for editing your picture so you'll see that there's other symbols and other things that I could be telling you about, but I'm just keeping this to a quick, simple overview, okay? Let's dive in to the four essentials that I think every photo management program should have. It's how I'm rating these programs as I go through these weeks, okay? Number one, you should be able to organize your pictures by albums or folders. Depending on the program, it could be called either. And in the case of Mylio, you can organize by both. Now, folders is what makes sense. I'm gonna just show you, I have the five folders here. When I click on this mess of pictures, this is the loose batch of pictures that I have in the Mylio pictures folder. I'm gonna click on it and I'm just gonna scroll down to some senior Olympics photos. I used to do a lot of work with them and I'm going to just select those pictures. I'm holding uh, the control key or command key on a Mac and I'm gonna drag those pictures down to an area that's called the Mylio clipboard. See how they just dropped in there? Then I'm going to hit the back button and I'm going to right click in the black area. That's option click on a Mac and I'm going to select new folder. We'll call it WSO photos, create. And that batch of pictures in the clipboard area, I'm going to drag up into the WSO photos. I'm going to say okay to moving them. And now it took that batch out of the loose pictures and put them in the WSO photos folder. Creating folders is pretty easy. My Leo meets criteria number one with a big yes. The second feature that's important is being able to edit your photos metadata. This is the digital information that comes with your picture. In Mylio, under the Info tab, you can see in the right-hand column here, I have all sorts of information about this picture of my son with our two dogs. It's taken on January 31st, 2021. Let's say this was actually from five years ago. I can simply click on the date and change the date to five years ago. So you can just change the date just like that. Then you can give your picture a title, you can put a caption on it, you can add keywords, and you can even go down to uh, looking at the known people in a picture. Mylio allows you to edit your metadata, so that's a yes on the second point. The third feature that's really important in a photo management program is the backup feature. Mylio does this really well. I'm going to click on the dashboard and in the dashboard I have the devices selected and you can see here I've got my MacBook Pro which has 530 photos on it and then I have an iMac at work and when I turn my computers on at work these two will sync with each other when Mylio is open on the computers. Then I have my iPhone, which it looks like I have two pictures that are missing. So when I open Mylio on my iPhone, those will sync as well. Then I have this Pixology external hard drive and I can see that it needs two more pictures to sync to it so that it is fully backed up. When I click on my external hard drive, I can see here, all right, there's two waiting and 520 are good. I also can see what quality of photo I'm saving and it's the originals. You always want the originals to be backed up on your external hard drive. So 
the backup feature is very robust. You not only can back up to your external hard drives, but also to other computers. Very useful if you're in a family who uses both PC and Mac. All right, the fourth feature is, do I like using Mylio? Well, I actually do like using it. I think the pictures displayed in there look really nice. The calendar is great. As I look through the folders, I really like how my pictures display as compared to say, you know, Windows File Explorer or the Finder on a Mac. So we have four yeses on folders, metadata, backup, and the appearance of the program. Mylio hits all four points there. Now, when I'm reviewing these programs, there are some other features that I don't think are as essential as those four, but they are nice. So we um, already kind of talked upon a few of these with Mylio. Editing, you can definitely edit a picture. Let's just go back into our January folder here. And here is, um, let's take this picture here, the dog jumping in the snow. If I want to crop it, I can just, you know, get to right to the heart of the scene. And I can also apply filters, not that I want to, but you can see all sorts of things that you can do with your picture. So now the photo's a little brighter. And what's nice is Mylio actually will save your original. You can scroll down here and see reset all edits. Mylio's editing features look pretty robust as well. The next feature is sharing photos. So on the top row in the right panel, there's a few more icons that we haven't talked about. This arrow sticking up out of the like tray is share selected items. And you can see you can share through email messages and you might have other options depending on your computer or device. Next, we want to talk about facial recognition. Facial recognition is another good feature for a photo management program to have. It can really speed up identifying who's in pictures and finding pictures of someone that you need for an event. Under the People tab, you can go into your person, obviously I'm in mine, you can see all the pictures confirmed and proposed. Mylio will continue proposing until all the pictures of that person have been identified and confirmed or rejected. So the facial recognition works very well. The last feature that I like to talk about is duplicate identification. I exported the picture of my son with the two dogs on the porch and now I'm gonna import it after I change the name. So let's see what happens. I'm opening my finder on my Mac, and here is that picture on my desktop. I'm gonna drag it into Mylio. And when you drag a picture in, it does wanna know what folder you wanna put it in. So I'm gonna put it in the January folder and click continue. Definitely, I want to check that it's excluding suspected duplicates. So I'm gonna import now and it actually brought that picture in. When I am looking at the picture, let's look at the info. Here is the photo I just imported, Alex and the dogs. The next picture is the same photo. So Mylio will recognize exact duplicates, so that's good. That's my wrap up of the features of Mylio. The program hits all the highlights that are important for me when I'm looking for a photo management program. And I'm curious to hear what you think of Mylio. Leave your comments below. Mylio is available as a free download and you can use it for up to 25,000 photos. I also have a coupon code in the description for one of the paid programs. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so that we can see you the next time we post a video that helps you save your memories. Take care.